I'm AshMable12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to post JavaScript variables to PHP using Ajax functions. So um, in this one we're going to be using jQuery. So I've just set up a quick page here. Uh, bear in mind I've got a jQuery file linked up here. So you will need jQuery. Um, no idea why my mouse is flickering that fast. If you can see that, I don't know. Um, just get rid of that. Right, anyway, I've got a form set up here. You don't need an um, action or a method on this because we're going to be using a button here instead of a submit button. We're just going to use a standard button. Um, you will also need to have on click and in there um, I've put post so it's going to be a JavaScript function called post um, you can use this for username and password I've done this for um, the able 12 website um, so use username and password and then encrypting the password so basically login.php is the same um, but you're just posting it in a different way so you're not actually refreshing the browser you just you know staying on client side and running PHP in the background. Um, I've got a div here called result which will bring back any results from the PHP page because bear in mind that um, PHP page is running in the background it's not actually um, being executed to a user so we have to actually physically get that information um, like hard code into the code and I've just set up a JavaScript block here to start writing the function so we can start putting the function post oops, in there ready for when we click on the button so just to test this is working I like to just put a, an alert just to say working so then if we come in here refresh and click submit um, as you can see we get an alert saying working so now then we know um, the on click is working and and the JavaScript is working perfect. Okay, so the first thing we're actually going to do is just um, get the the values of the input boxes that we enter. So bear in mind, in previous tutorials and probably every single other tutorial, to be honest, um, I have name here instead of ID because we're working with JavaScript. That gets by ID and not name. Um, if you you can still put name, it just won't do anything in this sense what we're doing here. But um, I I should encourage you to put name just so everything's got like a name basically. Um, but for this but for this um, tutorial, I'm just going to stick with ID because that's all we need. Um, okay, so to get values in JavaScript or in jQuery rather, you put var for variable. And the name, so name is, and this this is what I'm saying about getting the ID. So the hash is the selector for ID, and then we can get the age, which is hash age, just like that. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is po now post this to um, a PHP PHP page I've got set up here called I've just called it validate.php for now. Um, you can call it whatever you want. Um, and basically put dollar dot post and inside here um takes quite a lot of parameters to be honest. Um, the first one is the page you want to post it to. So I've put it as validate.php um comma. The, the second one as you can see you can get on Dreamweaver you get a suggestion box here. I'm gonna leave that out for now. Ignore any error message that you see for now. I'll tell you when you can look back at error messages. Um, so um, after this, you need to open or close um, curly brackets and post name colon name comma post age colon age. I'll tell you what this means now. Post name basically means the post in PHP so when you put dollar dot post and the name of usually the name of what you put in here and um, so that's basically that 
that's what's, what's that going to be, you'll see what I mean later on in PHP. Um, and the second one is the actual variable that we've got up here, and the same goes for age here. Okay, so now, comma after the curly brackets, and basically what we're going to do is come down like this. Okay, so make sure you're following what I'm doing here. We're going to put a function in here. Okay, and I know this may look a bit complicated at the moment, um, but what we need now is. Oops, sorry, I didn't see that error message. Um, okay, forgot the semicolon. And um, what I tend to do is usually put that on there because it's um, closing the function off and the, um, the post here. Basically, this can all go on one line. It's basically all one line of. It's all one sort of code if you want to. In theory you can or basically you should really put it like this and basically it's one it's one thing it does something on its own. I can see by the, the line terminators here the semicolon that's basically that basically stops a line from running then like we've got here. Um as you can see we've only got we've not got one we've only got one sort of in on this line which means you know this is all one um, thing as such, but it's just easy to see on different lines. Um, so now, basically, what I'm going to do is in this function, we need to pass some data back. So we need a data in there, um, and then basically, what we're going to do is just um, result dot html data. So whatever is being echoed into the PHP page will get put into that div without refreshing the page and uh, so you see what I mean now so if we just come back in here and go um, echo working this should work so if I refresh submit oops, okay so it's not working okay so what I've missed off that we need is um, after these after these variables we need dot val which will get the value of what is in the text field. So now if I refresh and click submit we can actually see we get working up there from um this this working here in the PHP file has now been posted back into this data which then gets echoed out into the um, well not echoed out shown out into um the ID of result which is this div here okay so now basically I've shown you how to post this now you can do now you can start to do um, the things of your own um, but what I'm going to do now is to show you um, just this for now so name is equal to basically it's this here so post name and the same for age it's um, it's this post here that you need that represents this post here if you know what I mean now um, so that's that um, I don't think there's much else to show you um, but what you can tend to do is if you don't want to echo anything out or do it any showing to the user in PHP you want to do it all through JavaScript and HTML basically what you can do is you can echo, if you can echo things like um, I tend to use numbers because it's you know simple. So echo one. Um, so basically, what we can do actually is create an if statement, which says um, if age oops, if age is is equal to um, let's say it's equal to or greater than eighteen. Or we should have greater than or equal to sorry and um, basically we can echo out something like um, one else echo zero then what comes back to this is either what comes back to this data here is either one or zero so now basically you can, you can put your if statement in here to say if data is equal to um, one, and you can basically do just basically what you did here: result dot html, and you can basically show something here. So 
you are over 18 um, and then if if data is equal to um, was it 2 or 0 was it 0 yeah um, you can use 2 if you want, you don't have to use 0 you can use whatever number you want, you can use whatever you really want in there, you can echo out something you can echo out a sentence and then say if you know and the sentence there um, so then basically we can just copy this along paste it in here um, you are under 18 so now basically if I just refresh this whole thing um, I don't really need a name but I'll put one in anyway and I'll put my age which is 19 you get you are over 18 and if you put something under 18 as you can see we get you are under 18 and this is all happening in the background the page has not been refreshed okay so that's how to post javascript variables to a php file and then run the php file in the background without actually refreshing the page so you can call it ajax if you like um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time